Yeah. Is cool. Is Faye, cool. she's at Table Mountain. Joseph just sat there staring. But I had to find her. And I was going with. All without him. It was then I had to make my choice. It's impressive. Yeah, very. Shall we? I think you should go up there and see her by yourself. And take on these two hoodlums alone? Hoodlums? What's wrong with hoodlums? Very quaint. There's nothing quaint about guns and knives, which I'm sure they'll be carrying, so you will be coming with me. No, on. Yes, you will. Now, look, you just go. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Yes, there is. What is it? Anna said the first thing that came into my head. I'm scared of heights. Look, I promise you, the height won't kill you. Whereas the hoodlums might, of course. It's not good. I can't go up there. No. I can just say a prayer. Maybe that'll do the trick. Hello? OK, where? I'm on my way. Change the plan. Signal Hill. Let's go. Betrayal, it seemed, was what fate had in mind. And I wasn't arguing. shot at, beaten up, robbed and chased. And somehow he greeted Faye like his grandmother at church. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. What's going on, Faye? I, I've lied to you. I, I've lied to everybody. And Linda, I, I never thought... I have to talk to you, Joseph. We know about your son. Wow, when did you find out? We found out this morning. There was a DVD. You were at the house? Yeah. Was, was he there? Was Archie there? No, no, there was, uh, there was nobody there but a housekeeper. Lucas is his father. That's why I'm here. He promised me that I could see him, but these guys, we've just been driving around and not going anywhere. Are you Johnny boy? Yeah? You met your brother. Look, man, whatever he's done has nothing to do with me and Gavin. Did they harm you? No, it's fine, it's fine. They just promised me I'd see Archie, and I never did. Lucas just told us to keep her out of the way. I even gave her my cell phone to call you. Oh, we know where Archie is. They will speak into hospital. We saw it in an entry for the diary today. They can operate. That's a, they must be. That's why he wanted me out of the way. What's wrong with him? A coronary ventricular fistula. No, but that's not why he's in a care home, is it? No. He has low syndrome. Right. But because of the syndrome, he has these other problems. The doctors in the UK said that it was far too risky to do the operation. I'd have to agree with them. They believe it would kill him. So your husband had the operation arranged here, yes? Ex-husband. I thought you were... We've been divorced ten years. You know, he's never shown any interest in Archie, and then Lucas goes back and he applies for a passport, and by the time I've called the police, it's too late. Oh, you should have had him arrested here, I understand. He said if I did, I'd never see my boy. Disappear. I promise you, you will be sorry. My uh, my friend here is ex SAS, and uh, I also have skills. Look, man, take her. We've had enough driving around, going nowhere. Uh, just one thing. Do you have any money? We haven't eaten since yesterday. Joseph, I know you hate me, and that is what I deserve. But I, I never lied to hurt you. I was trying to protect us. I didn't want to lose you. And if I thought today had been crazy already, it was nothing on what was about to happen. I have to believe that Archie is in good hands. Archie's consultant said that it was too risky, and, and that's who I'm going to listen to. They believe they can do it. I don't want him to die on an operating table. His life has been so hard. That's not how he should go. I... I want him to die in my arms, Joseph. I want to hold my baby and tell him how much I love him. He's my child. Nicholas. Where's Archie? Where is he? In the theater. That's my son. I had no right to do this. 
I had no right to give my boy a better life. Is that what you're telling me? There's a very good reason why they wouldn't carry out the operation in the UK. Oh, you think I just rushed into this? You don't think I thought seriously about it? I didn't ask every doctor I could lay my hands on. I did nothing for my son for ten years. I didn't even know he was disabled. Because you never asked. <laughs> you should have told me. I told you he'd been born, and you're quite happy not to have anything to do with it. And I didn't know he was disabled. You had every chance, but you did nothing. You never gave me any money. And now, because your life hasn't gone quite as you'd hoped... This has nothing to do with my life. ...you back into my life and take my son from me, hoping that by giving him this operation that you can rid yourself of some of your guilt. <sighs> I want to help him. No, you don't. This is about you. I've brought Archie up myself. I've paid for his care. I've given him the best life possible. Not you, me! Okay. Where is the operation? Inserting the graft. Somebody had to take control. And Joseph still wasn't pushing himself forward. You took him away from his world. Slow down. You took him away from everything that he knew. I'm going to have you arrested. I did what I thought was right. And you still think it was the right thing to do? I... You what? I, I didn't realise how severe his problems were. No, you wouldn't, would you? Well, the only time you ever saw him was at Greenlands, where there were nurses and, and doctors to look after him. Do you honestly think that if I could cope with Archie, I'd put him in a home? I didn't think. I just wanted to do something. To take your mind off the real problem, that your partner died of AIDS. How do you? We were told, and uh, I know all about mental displacement. That wasn't it. You felt betrayed on two fronts. He had another relationship, and he left you by yourself, and you decided to get over this by taking somebody else's child. He is my child, too. He'd never even seen him. So don't try and justify it. You know, even if this operation is a success, nothing's going to change. You're not going to suddenly have the son you've always wanted. Archie will always have severe problems. Do you really think you can deal with that long term? This has nothing to do with you. I think it has. We're here to support Faye which is more than you've ever done. Look, she doesn't want this operation because she doesn't want him to get better. What? If he gets better, then she might have to have him home. I... That's low, that's good. Let's come off bypass. Can't stand it. Really think you should keep quiet. Three, four, three, four, three. Don't like what you're hearing. There's still a lot of blood in here. You better apologize to her for what you just said. The boy, Faye's boy, was dying. The parents were fighting, the doctors were unsure, and I wasn't a cardiothoracic surgeon. And Joseph needed to be in there. One way or another, I had to get him in, so I went to sort it out. Pay no attention to him. It's only probably what a lot of people think. No one thinks that. I don't think that. You must think something. Did James know about Archie? Why is this important? It just is. No, he didn't know about him. Would you ever have told him? Yes. One day. That's why I wanted the nurse's home. I thought if I could get that, then I could have Archie with me full time. And if I hadn't found out, would you ever have told me? Yes, of course. One day when, when the time was right. Uh, you don't believe me. I honestly can't blame you. I've lied to you. Okay. I... I lied to you about the money Donald left me. I'm not sure I need to know this at this moment. There was money in that suitcase. He knew about Archie. He helped me with him. And he wanted to do the best for him, and, and he knew what that would cost. Why didn't you just tell me? Because it was a part of my life that I didn't want anyone to know about. Archie, your son? Yes. If they knew about him, when I was accused of stealing that money, well, who do you think they would have believed? So I just kept quiet. It was my problem, no one else's. I could have helped you. I, I didn't want sympathy or charity. I got myself into this lie and once... <laughs> I started, I couldn't stop. Joseph, I don't blame you if you never want to speak to me again. But please, don't throw everything away. 